Good kitten and shenan. I realized right at the end last time I forgot to actually cure people's status effects. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, how goes? This is still the same day. I've... I like recording these in batches because I don't like playing for long or playing for short periods of time on this game. I feel like I don't make any progress then. Anyway, um, oh, I need to make a save state. That way, if I do load, I don't mess up files. Uh, previous video is uploading now. And now, all right, we have this nice little shrine. Go right up to the entrance, right? Welcome, Grand Seal of Force. What? I heard a voice from the other side of the door. I'm Zalbard. I'm one of the greater devils. Do come in. Of course, you can go back now and abandon Machula. Sir Astral? The greater devil that attacked Beto was as strong as Vulcanon. Yep, that's right. There's a single greater devil that is just as strong as a deity. We'll encounter them at some point. Are you talking about Sir Adai? Did he fight against Vulcanon at Beto? Yeah, yes. And he lost. I can't believe it. Adai is the strongest devil among us. But we haven't been able to contact him lately. This is good news for me. If I get the Jewel of Evil, I can take his place. Now, enter the shrine. Mithula is here. What should we do? A greater devil awaits us inside. Odd eye. Odd eye. Odd eye. Uh, Sir Astral? I think I've heard that name before. Hmm, yes, 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 quite, quite. Sir Astral? Hmm. Sir Astral! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, what? Oh, Peter, don't... Don't scare me like that. What's wrong with you? Should we go in the shrine now? Oh, oh, sorry. Zalbard. At least he's not as strong as Odai. But still, he's a greater devil. We had better complete our preparations before we go in. Hmm? Okay. I do like the promoted portrait of Bowie better than the unpromoted portrait. Which is interesting because everybody else's promoted or everybody else's portraits are depend dependent on what they promote to. Bowie's seems to be dependent on what he's promoted. Or when he's promoted. Which is weird. But I'm okay with this. Alright. Yeah, it's basically a either way, this battle's gonna suck. And oh boy does it suck. There is no good way around fighting this battle. See, if I had somehow thought that I was able to go through chessboard, this would probably be the battle that I would assume that if I had gotten this far in my Nuzlocke, I might be okay, but this is the last battle that I had that had a good chance of wiping me out. So let's go inside, right? Mm, what a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Oh, he's ugly, isn't he? What? You dare insult me? I've never. For that you will die. I I'm pretty sure he was going to try to kill you anyway. Are you ready to die? Yep, we are flat out fighting a greater devil boss fight. So, we've got an orc, got a dark knight, wizard, another dark knight, stupid wyvern, two chests that we can search. Again, this is not an area that is a one-time thing, so we can come back here if we don't search them. 
Wizard, another Dark Knight. A Harpy Queen. Ah, I see my three digit thing is definitely working. So this is our first question mark, question mark thing in the game. Uh, Harpy Queens usually have question mark, question mark attack. It's 101 apparently. It's good to know. Also, they can cast Freeze because, you know, 101 attack isn't enough. For some reason, we also have a Gargoyle here. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a lesser demon. Naturally, there's a Master Monk with level 4 heal right next to the boss. Another Dark Knight. And then there's Zalbard. He has 113 attack. Massive amount of HP, 65 MP, and he has Bolt 2. Seeing the area of effect size of Bolt 2, right? And as a boss, he gets two actions in a row and has plenty of MP. And this area is not tiny, at least. The area by him is. So, yeah. In the immortal words of my generation, this gonna suck. Let's get started with some boost. Yeah, give me that boost. <laughs> Kiwi. Kill yourself to get some more XP. You really need the XP. I mean, not really. Kiwi's attack. So, initially I had thought, and you can see from the stats above, initially I had thought that uh, our first question mark, question mark stat character was going to end up being... Um, oh, I'm scrolling down. No wonder. Uh, initially, I thought it was going to end up being Jaha with MP. It's actually going to end up being Kiwi with attack. I was not expecting this. Alright, so what we want to do is spread out a bit. Gerhalt may end up getting dropped from the party, just because he's not as useful anymore. And... Dao, while a good spell, the fact that he's still only on Dao 1. MP increased by 2. No Dao 2. Yeah, the fact that he's still only on Dao 1. I mean, if he had Dao 2 or Boost 2 right now, this would be viable. But, uh... And I don't really need Egress on two characters anymore. Also, everything is land effect 15 other than the stairs, I think. Oh, there are more Bumpy Queens. Good to know. Music glitch there. Interesting. I mean, honestly, if I end up picking up a different healer, maybe I'll end up replacing Rick. I don't think so, though. Dark Nut. Get frozen. Be nice if Jaha gained more spells, but he's not going to gain any more for a while. Blast to your face? That should be lethal. Yep. Kiwi killing even Mo.
interesting. I don't know what that sound effect was. Apologies. You don't get to go. Again, this is a boss battle, thus I'm not as concerned about staying balanced on levels. I mean, it'd be nice, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it, because this is deadly. <coughs> so close. Oh, you're the Baron. Dang it. I keep doing that. Mm. Their range is so ridiculous, isn't aren't they also sevens or are they eights? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can, if they move one more, they can hit me. This is nuts. I don't want to waste that heal right now. I really wish I had a way of mapping the fast forward button to one of these. Oh, this might not be good. Ah, uh, no. Should be fine. Both of those are defense-based. My kingdom for aura, though. That would be really handy right about. I mean, normally at this point in the game, I'd have aura... Oh, probably aura 2 by now. With Karna. Uh, let's see. Do you have enough MP? Suck it. Sometimes. Okay, I'm really curious to see if I would... So, what's my expected damage? I know that there's the terrain effect. So, attack is 90. Aren't you high defense? Defense is 48. I expect to do 52. 85% of 52 is still more than 31 hit points. This should kill it. Yeah. HP 1, MP 1, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 2. Okay. Would have preferred more defense, but that's okay. Orc Lord, time to die. Bowie's level 11. HP 2, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 1. I forgot to actually grab their stats. Derp. Alright, um... Bowie is 11.43. Chester is 11.34. 9.96. is still accurate. Kiwi is 6.48. May is 10.42. Gerhalt is 12.03. Luke is correct. Rick is 2.94. Elric is 10.73. That was actually still there. 1.40 for Randolph. And still 10.96. Okay. So now those stats are accurate. Let's get some boost on! Boost. I don't know why it's so funny to me that... Oh. There was only one person not boosted still. Oh. I don't know why it's so funny to me trying to make fun of boost and just I don't know, maybe it's because it's in all excuse me, all caps or something. Oh yeah. Where is your range of seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This is a oh wait, forgot. There's another flying thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. None of those places are safe. Ninja. 
Ninja. <laughs> that would be dumb. I'm not doing it. Be fun, but dumb. I forgot to give the Shining Ball to somebody that it's actually useful for. I'll take that. Turn one attack, 66 defense, that's 35 expected damage. I can survive a normal hit of that. Not so much on a crit, but you know. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Oh, and silence. Great! Well. Gotta use one healer to heal the other, apparently. Kiwi, take the heals. You need it. Rick leveled up. Rick is now 3.07. Not 30. There we go. Hello, Rick. Snipes. Oh, wait. You're in range of that thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not in range, though. Harpy Queen! I mean, they don't have much defense, but dang do they hurt. I keep sliding over. I don't mean to, I just do. Uh, you need healing. You're gonna stay back here for a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you're still far enough away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, they can attack any of those three. Cool. Are you still boosted? No, you're silenced though. You're boosted though. One damage. Level 10. HP 2, MP 2. Always happy to see HP and MP. Uh, you are 10.15 now. Kiwi. Kill. 50 damage. Nice. Just out of curiosity. Their defense? 39. So. Hmm, that was a really high roll for damage, actually. Okay, we're withdrawing a little bit, but only a little. I uh, like that. Get some boost action on. Luke's my only person with dispel. Wait, I have people with, um... Who has some fairy dust? Not tear dust. Did I sell all of them? I might have. I have been laid poor for so long. Yep, I don't have any in my inventory. Okay. Um, you do not have a healing item on you. Really need to replenish those. You know what? You're actually going to use your healing item. 
I am currently down a character on... I shouldn't have moved there. Just done on me. Oh. You're now in range, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You're in range of a whole bunch of garbage. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a terrible plan. Mouse, what are you doing? But it's fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time for some check. So, okay. Yeah, Detox 4 is an area of effect. So, Detox 1. Pretty sure this will do nothing. Yep. Okay. Detox 2. I don't know what level I need to use. Okay, Detox 2 doesn't work. Detox 3. Oops. Detox 3 is the same area of effect as Detox 2. That tells me it's almost certainly Detox 3. Detox 3. No effect. What? Okay. Fine. Detox 4. I have never cast Detox 4, and it still doesn't work. I can't remove Dispel. Huh. Today I learned. Yeah, I would much rather take you out now than deal with you later. Thunk. Elric's level 11. Yet again, no attack. My god, Zalric, your attack has not moved in a whole bunch of levels. You're kind of getting less useful by the minute. The only reason why you're even doing decent damage is because of your power ring. We're gonna have to do a checkup on our um whatchamacallits. Uh Archer friends. Okay, who is currently injured? Can it? Nope. Janet's also injected caffeine directly into her eyeballs, but you know. Technicalities. For halt, get back over to there, and is there anybody that can be boosted that I can actually reach? No. No, there is not. Okay. So next stage. Gotta pick sides for I'm the best way of handling this is to split your force up and go along both sides. The reason why is that Salbard has bolt two and can hit everybody in one group. So if you're in two separate groups, they can't hit everybody. Alternately, luring Zalbard down here, I can have an archer start poking them. Even better would be, yeah, here or here are the best spots, because then I can have two archers poking them. And that would be ideal, but we don't live in an ideal world. You notice I'm being a little cagey with Bowie, it's because he's a little higher level than normal. That might actually lure out Zalbard. Might as well heal yourself. Oh wait, I forgot you can't. Habit. Oh, dispel expired, so that's good. Min min.
That should be bait for the harpy. And that's further bait for the harpy. Can you loop around? Four, five, six, seven. No, you can't. Okay. Oh, wait. It has an air effect attack. No. Go like that. Um, I want you to stay back a little bit. Drawbard, you have not awoken yet. Okay. Is there anybody else injured? Huey's taken a little bit. I think that's mostly from level ups, not from taking damage. Yep, nope. Can we go ahead and heal a little bit? There we go. All hit points are going to be useful. Also, Kiwi has a massive amount of hit points given that she's a healer. Not expecting that bait. Okay. That works, I guess. Not moving. It's unfortunate for me. That's a waste. But it's only three more MP than Freeze 3. Freeze 3 does next to nothing in damage on somebody who can cast it. Really need the tier 4 spells. Okay. I could just punch this person into next week. And I think that's not a terrible plan. Congratulations. Welcome to next week. HP 1, MP 1, Defense 1, Agility 1. No attack, though. Uh, a little concerning. Alright. Who needs some boost? already boosted derp. Wait, no. Oh, I already knew that. Ooh, my brains. The only one who can stand there, so... Just need to hit with somebody else. Anybody else. Snip can't reach. Ninja can't reach viably. Bow Knight can reach, though. I'd much rather hit it with the Brass Gunner. The Brass Gunner hasn't moved recently. Okay... Not sure why they're using freeze instead of their attack. Guess I shouldn't question too much, but... Three, four, five, yeah, no. Die. Eleven. I've been bad about keeping up to date with the spreadsheet again. Sorry about that. Must be getting a little tired. Uh, let's double check some things. 11, 11, 10. Slate is... 11.31. 7 7.46. Okay. What I'm trying to do is lure out all of the things around Zalbard. Hmm. Janet leveled up. Decent level. 11.14 for Janet. Okay. 
can't heal Bowie. Although I should definitely have a Vicar on this side, since I have my Master Monk on that side. Um... That'd be really needs healing. As expected. Janet can take a hit at least. You're gonna go after May. Ow. Do you see them not move to attack? Ugh. Silly things. Bunt. Bunt. Sound effect that they make when they draw their bow. Bunt. Gerhalt. Just sick down, puppy. Seven XP. Ugh. Not great. You know what is great? Punching into next week. Oh yeah, Master Monks have a special animation when they crit, by the way. I don't know if anybody's actually noticed that. Oh, I definitely woke up Salbard. Alright, I think these are monster inboxes. Which means that this is a terrible plan. No! Critical Sword 2. Nice! That is a special weapon. I could just go attack. What's Salbard's movement? Five, okay. I'm okay-ish here. Harpy Queen appeared! See, monster in a box. It attacks me rather than me attacking them. That's the part I don't like about the monster in a box. So I'm pretty sure Luke's dead as a result of that. But I'm only pretty sure. I do have archers over there, after all. Ah, uh, yep. I am one square away from being able to heal. Heal up Janet all the way, because I might as well. Oh, yeah. And... See, look at the item that's on the Harpy Queen. Get rid of the Orc Lord. We don't need you here. Go away, Orc Lord. I mean, everybody is so injured over here. This is fine. Especially with counterattack. Nice. Sweep the leg. Or sweep the uh, shield. Hi! It's all bird cast. Bolt level 2. See, now you can see the little wings behind his head. Whereas you couldn't before when he was just calm. It kind of looked like hair. So that hurt. <laughs> um, and Zalbard can go twice, so this might be a really bad plan. Killed it. I mean, that part's nice. You're gonna hit me for one. I think you'd hit most of my archers for one. Come on. Um. Only thing I can do. Boost. Boost, suckas.
Okay. I can, in fact, take it out, which is a much better plan than trying to heal. 40 damage. 40. They might be weak against air. HP 1, M or, yeah, HP 1, MP 2, defense 2, agility 1, and no attack again. Not the greatest. How about some boosting? Unfortunately, that means that that side of the board is not where the enemy is going to be. So it's not going to have too many. Yep. Ah, oh. Ah, oh, everybody's so injured over here. I don't know if this is viable. I might need to just pull back. I am faster than Zalbard. Let's try pulling back. But we need full healing. Two attacks. That does help. Well, maybe I could have actually taken out Zalbard now that I think about it. <coughs> Two attacks help quite a bit. Never mind. So often. And the thing is that if they hadn't attacked Janet, they just would have attacked Randolph. Dealt enough damage for either. Fine, I'm just gonna take out Salbard. Sacrifices must be made. Well, there goes that plan. Because that's gonna happen. Uh hold on a moment. What happens if I just attack instead? <coughs> Bowie's still the best option to heal. Bowie might actually take a hit. A. Eh? Hit, as in one. Slade, nukes Albard. Yep, that's what I was expecting to have happen. Down to one, you're alive. Don't you have the Shining Ball? No, you don't. Slade was the one that did. Damn it! That will prevent... No, it won't. That'll prevent Jack Squat on it. Okay, so the only way I can actually prevent anything is going like this.
Are you kidding me? Ugh. Right, that means I now have to go there to heal. And that heal's not gonna be enough to survive. I don't think it is. Maybe if I had a boost up there too, but I don't. But I can do this. Shining Ball! <laughs> yeah, nine. That's why Shining Ball is not worth it at this point in the game. Alright, that's going to kill Janet. And practically kill Bowie. I don't think Bowie can survive anything. Yep, that's the problem. Oh, Bowie survived. Didn't expect that. Bowie's dead from the gargoyle. Oh, one hit point. One hit point. He's just going to be dead the next time many of them do anything, but that's okay. You know why? Uh, I think Freeze actually will do more damage. I just need to do enough damage. That's it. I need to do five before Salbard goes again. I don't even know if that's possible. Boost on self. I am one square away. But Rick isn't. That is ridiculous. That's what I'm doing. You die to blast. Rick leveled up though. HP 2, MP 1, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. Only had one person die. Impossible. Why do I have to die? Where is Matula? I don't know. I haven't seen her. <laughs> oh no, the ground orb. Pink. I can't endure the light. Oh! Dead greater devil. Thanks to ground orb, we finally defeated Salbard. The orb released holy power in its light. Hey, look over there. Welcome. There is the goddess Matula. Shove the orb back into the statue where it belongs. Thank you. I finally returned to this world. Goddess Matula? Oh, nice to meet you, Sir Astral. Oh, you know my name. <laughs> Please, tell us what we should do now. I don't know. Wait, what? But, but, you're a goddess, right? You know our future. I'm not Falconon. I never tell people the future, even if it could prevent death. Death? Not ours, I hope. Zeon is an unimaginably strong devil. He attains full power. I, even Vulcanon, would not be able to stop him. So we have to beat him before he revives completely. His power is sealed in the Jewel of Evil. 
So that's why he wants the jewel. Then why don't we just keep the jewel forever? Ark Valley. Or sorry. Ark Valley is the place that where evil power gathers. He will recover his power if he stays there long enough. Did you say Ark Valley? You call it Ancient Tower or Grand Seal. Grand Seal is named for the symbol in the tower. It seals the ground. See? Ground. Seal. It seals the ground. Huh. I see. Goddess Machula, where are you going? Down to the surface. Save the people. Are you going to abandon us as Vulcanon did? Well, no. I'll give you a hint. Listen to the legends from the storytellers before you go to Grand's Island. You can't kill Zeon, but Vulcan and I, Vulcanon and I will help you if we can him. Bowie! You're the chosen one. You have the Holy Jewel. We need your help to re reseal Zeon. Find the Holy Sword. Where is it? How can we find it? It's on Grand's. Your jewel will lead you to... Humph. Matula! Matula! Bowie, Matula has vanished. What should we do now? We have to go to Ark Valley on Grand's Island. Bowie, find the storytellers first. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that, actually. So, there are two hidden characters here. One is right over here. I feel power returning me to human. Except she's not human, but whatever. Hey, evil's gone. You chased them away. Uh, Bowie, who is she? Did you say we? Oh, you're from Grand Seal. Uh, yeah, we are, but who the hell are you? Do you know how long I've been here as a stone statue? How oh, do you know Bowie? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Taya, a sorceress. Goddess Machula told me about you. She did, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, my. Yes, she was worried about you. You are fated to fight Xeon, but she's unable to help you. It's an order from Vulcanon. But I'm here for her. I'm here to help you. Taya the Brass uh, Bronze Gunner Wreck How freaking many archers are there? You wanna go to Grands, right? Then I think we can use the ancient ship. Let's go to Nazga. Alright, we now have Taya. Who's a level eleven brass gunner? Okay, that's actually a fairly good comparison then all right and your stats are okay so if you're level 11 let's go to our archers Brass Gunner, O oh, Knight. Keep saying Brass Gunner. I'm trying to make it Bronze Gunner. Dang it, Sniper. All right. So May's the only one that's lower level. So Taya has middling hit points compared to them. Time fifty six, fifty three, fifty. Yeah, somewhere in the middle. Um garbage attack, but at the same time she has a weaker weapon, right? Yeah. So, here, let's make sure we do a good comparison here. 59, okay. So, let me just edit that really fast. Okay. So, garbage attack still. I mean, we're talking lower than Elric. Um, garbage defense for a Bronze Gunner. I mean, look at the difference between Slade and Taya here. But remember, my characters were promoted at level 24. Taya was probably promoted at level 20. 
So if I'd have to make a guess... Oh yeah, and the agility is garbage. If I would have to make a guess, Taya is hit points. This is why I normally don't bother using... Anyway, this entire room I just completely missed before. Power water, nice. And... Healing Seed. I mean, I can use the healing item, even if it's a weaker one. Should be something here. Anyway, um... So yeah. Got Taya. That's one of the hitting characters. We're getting a whole bunch of characters at once, by the way. That's part of the reason why I held off on doing my leveling until after this video. All right, these are the storytellers. The problem is I never know which one to start with. I'm gonna choose this one. Ark Valley is a dangerous place where evil gathers. He who rules Ark Valley is the king of the devils. Dark Soul, Dark Dragon, and Zeon fought desperately to obtain Dark Valley. So for reference, Dark Soul is the boss of Shining Force 1? Or is that Shining the Darkness? Yep, Shining in the Darkness. Uh, which is apparently supposed to be Mephisto. <laughs> uh, Dark Dragon is the boss of... Yeah. It gets confusing because there's Mephisto and there's also Dark Soul. Dark Soul is the father of Mephisto. Um, Dark Soul could be... Yeah, no. I think this one's referring to Dark Soul from Shining Force 1. Uh, Dark Dragon is from uh, the, whatchamacallit, um, Dark Dragon's also from Shining Force 1. Xeon is from this game. The fighting of the Devil Kings created a mighty storm. That's the last one. I'll get to that in a bit. Xeon won, and every devil named him the King of the Devils. The other two kings envied Zeon. They sealed his powers inside the Jewel of Evil. When Zeon lost his powers, he fell to the fell to Earth. By the way, this planet is Earth, supposedly. And created a giant crater when he hit. His moan destroyed the mountains, and the crater was buried by the debris. Grieving over the fight, the God of Wisdom created the Jewel of Light. The Jewel of Light chose a brave man and gave him a holy sword. So the God of Wisdom is Metula, for reference, I think. With the Holy Sword in hand, the brave man fought against the two Devil Kings. The Holy Sword contained the Holy Power, contained Holy Power. Thus, the two Devil Kings were defeated. That's the story of Shining Force One. Evil Ark Valley was sealed beneath the ancient tower. Never open the door to the tower. Great evil sleeps inside. Now you tell us. Or I should say. This is sort of both Shining Force 1 and the guiding game that links Shining Force 1 and Shining Force 2 together. Anyway, in the event of Xeon Awakening, the power of light will choose another. Believe us, we lie not. Attack the devil with at his mouth with the Holy Sword. I love how the storytellers tell you that they're not lying. Because, you know, the only thing that you have to go on is them saying they're not lying. Anyway... We're done with this place for now. We're back to nice music here. And Tay is gone. And I am looking for somebody in specific. Always something behind the waterfall, except for here, apparently. We've got a whole bunch of things to do in the next five minutes. That's fine. Yep. Gate is still closed. That's fine. Let's go revive some people. Actually, I'm going to save here. I've got a good reason for this. That I need a reason to save, but um, 
It's so I can teleport back here. Oop, I did not mean to exit. Oh well. It's so I can teleport back here and save myself a journey. Trust me. It's said that some devils steal your spirit. If your spirit is stolen, you will be, you become a vampire. So Higgins is a vampire? Up, up, up. Excuse me, are you Bowie of Grenzil? Yeah, he's Bowie, but who are you? I'm Screech of Beto. Do you remember Screech? If you've watched the series, or you know Shining Force 2, well, if you know Shining Force 2, you know who this is, but if you've watched the series, Screech is a name that sounds familiar. Beto? Bowie saved my life there. Bowie saved... Oh, I remember now! You remember? Let me thank you. May I go with you? So Screech was this little hatchling kid that fell off of a cliff and, Bo and landed on top of Bowie. You had to trigger that event in order for this to happen. I did not find Screech my first time playing through the game. I also didn't find Taya. Um, I didn't find Screech the second time either. I only found out about Screech's existence when I put in the cheat code to rename everybody and then saw this character portrait and went, Ha! Huh? Who's this person? Burr? You grew up quickly, huh? Yeah, I learned how to fight. Screech the Sorcerer. Oh, that's interesting. I might take Screech, depending on what spells Screech has. Unfortunately, um, I'm probably going to have to do the same thing that I did with... Um, what you call it? Uh, Gerhalt, and edit the holes that Screech gets spells at. Because I bet. Oh, no, Screech has Force. Dow, Neptune, Boost, and Caton. What the hell? Well, that's definitely better than what I have for. Um. Oh, and Higgins is actually before Screech. Or, no, that's right. Screech is before Taya. That's the one that. It's weird. Uh, let me go add him to the spreadsheet, too. First off, clear that. So apparently Tay is 20, not 19. Unfortunately, his stats could be garbage. 39 hit points. 56 MP. 34 attack, 33 defense, 32 agility. That's pretty bad. But it might be worth it. So those spells are way better than what, uh... Um, poor Gerhalt has. I mean, yeah, you both have boost. Gerhalt has egress, which is nice, but Dao and Slow versus Dao and Neptune and Caton. Uh, that's gonna be difficult. Oh, um, is he using a weird weapon? Yeah, he's using a power stick. Let's assume that he was with a guardian staff, which means his attack is 41, and his defense is 41, and his defense is 38. Okay, that's not as bad. All right. Now... The last thing that I want to do, which I'm pretty sure I can do now, we've got a long walk.
We're walking really far back. Out there, further. Huh. This is why I save stated. One moment, I'm gonna get back here without that battle. There we go, let's continue on. We've got a long way to go, unfortunately. And there could be multiple points that random battles trigger at. Although this particular one, if this battle triggers, I think we start getting the weird stuff. So, weird thing about the way Shining Force 2 works is that if you trigger an old random battle, sometimes they don't just have old enemies in it. I don't know what... I think the way the game might be handling how it determines, okay, these are the enemies that are in this battle, it might be that as you progress in battles, the rotation of enemies that it keeps in memory changes. That's my best guess. Anyway, if you can't figure it out, we're going back to Creed's, because I think we can now get our friends. Also, I'm curious. Yep, they're gone. Remember they said they were going to work on a way of mining to get back to Grand's? They actually left. They're back in wherever. You can't go, unfortunately, because that would be a much easier way of handling things. Good, that battle didn't trigger. I understand why I kept I'm intentionally avoiding going to uh, churches. It's so I don't I, I can just teleport all the way back to where I was. Right. Let's go through here. I'm gonna make another save state here. That should be enough manipulation. Hi Yasin. Oh yeah, I need to feed you, Kitty Cat. As soon as so much food in his bowl, he's not going to care, but anyway. No, this hasn't changed yet. Huh. I thought this would have already changed. I thought it was after... Huh. I could have swore this was after um, Matula. Apparently not. Well, I'll just teleport back. That's right, I need to be outdoors to do this. So, I guess I'm gonna stop it here. I thought I was able to get the other characters. Apparently not, that must be Mound. Ugh. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is grinding up, not grinding up, but um, leveling up the other characters that I have access to up to 11, it looks like. Which I'm going to do in the uh, Secret Elf stage, as usual. I could probably complete the Secret Elf stage at this point, for reference. There's certain enemies in there that are really nasty, but I think I can take them at this point. But I am going to stop playing for the night, at least. And Isun is trying to curl up on my lap, except that I have a controller on my lap. He doesn't like that fact. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Hope you've enjoyed it or not, and I'll talk to you next time. Save state, and bye!